What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That means it's Mac Daddy Tools Thursday. As you can tell by the big old truck that I'm walking by. So let's take a look and see what he's got. You guys, come on. Y'all in the Christmas spirit in here. Got yeah. All hung up. These are some lights I had. I don't know where my good ones are. Mm, I had some cool. big bulb Christmas lights last all year. All them but Charlie I can't Brown find them. light bulbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were the big ones. Yeah, I like them big old Charlie Brown light bulbs. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Sure enough. Well, how's life been treating you? Good. Good. So. Are you Christmas shopping done? Yeah, pretty much for the most of, most part. <laughs> for the most part. As long as you get your wife and your mom something, you pretty hey, much that, are that's right covered. So, <laughs> you gotta worry about covered. much. I'm gonna try to go to the woods this weekend. Ain't nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that. Clean your mind and your soul. That hunting's good for you. Last year we were remodeling our house we bought and had our wedding and all that stuff to deal with and I didn't go to the woods at all so I'm planning on making up for it this year. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. That deer hunting's good for you. Duck hunting, rabbit hunting, squirrel hunting, any kind of hunting. Even, even if you have to hunt for a beer every now and then it's good. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. What? Got a bunch of new odd and end stuff back through there. We loaded up this weekend. Cool. We like that new stuff. What all did you get in? Uh, put some more seats and stuff together and uh, some of these big mag uh, toolbox accessory magnets and stuff up here and whatnot. Oh yeah, those magnet mm -hmm. um, that hang on the box. Those are on a deal, deal, deal. Mm -hmm. What are them running? I believe we're doing uh, like 25 bucks on them. Golly, that is cheap. It's about half what they regularly are. I don't even think them Harbor Freight ones is that cheap. You buy, buy the set of yeah. them, you know. So. That's good. Got in some of our winter coats too, so. Yeah, they were nice. That's like that Carhartt material mm -hmm. on it. Mac on the back and mm -hmm. on the front. Mm -hmm. Still got some of our Mac pick sets left. Yeah, that's a good deal on them too. So, I posted a picture on Instagram, because I love those precision torque wrenches. Mm -hmm. Like the angle that's on them jokers is just, that's where it's at right there. And uh, I was talking about it, and several people had mentioned, you know, they're looking forward to the the sale. And I'm like, well, it's supposed to be in January, is what I heard. So everybody says they're going to get a set of the metrics. I think there's been a lot of people waiting on them to drop. And uh, you might be able to tell them more on that later this week then. Oh, good. Hopefully I can. Because everybody is wanting that metric set, you know. I hope you got several of them because I know several guys has texted me about trying to get them when they're on sale. And a lot of guys was asking if they could buy them, like if they don't have a dealer with Mac. You know, you might could get them on the uh, Max website because I know they put the, they post the flyer deals on Max mm -hmm. website, so, so they should be able to go to I, I uh, MacTools.com and find them. Get them there, you know, if they don't have a dealer. So yeah. I know, uh, which you know, I I tried it with Matco and they do it, so I'm sure if they do it, Mac does it too. Yeah. So most because I mean, not they, everybody has a dealer, or not everybody works at a shop that has a truck that runs. Mm -hmm. You know that they can use on a regular basis. So, I mean, you can always go to MacTools.com. Most of the time, if they post them flyers, you can, you can get what they, get what you need. 
As long as they have inventory left on them. Yep. Well, that's some fine little old tips on them jokers. Precision screwdrivers. Some handy little ones there. Yep. Man, you got plenty of screwdrivers on here. Somebody was asking, talking about them the other day, those hard handle, the old school style like that. Somebody was They've been them. discontinued. Really? Man, they better get they them while they got them, man. discontinued, yep. Yeah, I think he said he had a black set and wanted to buy another one. And, uh... Only color you can get now is red. Wow. Well, because I had people that have come on over the years that some of the old ones, a lot of people had yellow ones as well. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but was wanting to get, you know, reorder another one in yellow, but I can't get them in yellow either. Are these made by Nipex? They sure look like they are. I know I bought a set of the Nipex pair that's this length, and man, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, them are some really good, mm -hmm. good jokers right there. Like pulling the uh, studs out of airbags. Man, them things right there, they ain't nothing work no better than that right there. I'd rather use a pair of those than a pipe wrench anyway. Mm -hmm. For sure. You got some of them monster wrench extenders too. Mm -hmm. I know Joe had ordered some and he sold like 40 of them off the videos. But you got three left, so. You guys are looking for monster wrench extenders. There there's, will be no more. There's three of them. And that'll be the end of them. Is that the only three you got? It is. Well, y'all better get them while you can, because there ain't going to be no do-overs on them. Mm -mm. Well, those cabinet screwdrivers. Those are actually pretty neat there. They're flexible. Oh, heck. When we was running all those cameras in our trucks, we had cameras on the mirrors, and I and I about wore out a. Well, this is a, got a quarter drive end on it. Uh huh. Looks like it's just would be a straight quarter drive screwdriver. Well, I'll be darn. In the right situation, that'd be handier in a pocket on a shirt. Mm hmm. And then you also have where you can put a. Phillips or Star, just whatever your quarter bit size is. Right. It's got a locking in on it too, it'll hold it. That's pretty cool right but there. You can just put it in and in that tight spot where you need that rounded screwdriver, but yep. and it'll still keep turning with you too once it's bent. That's pretty sharp right there. So they uh Yeah, I use those cabinet screwdrivers to push it up through the firewall or you can push that under the dash and all that. And man, I about wore out. A screwdriver pushing all mm -hmm. those wires through there because i think we did uh it was 17 trucks i think is what we ended up doing oh wow and uh man i was like Psh, the cabinet screwdrivers paid for themselves right there i had some on here a while back i need to order another one but it was like a rubber firewall needle yeah yeah that you could poke that needle it through was hollow. And, you and could, then you feed a wire through and pull it back yep. out and it close back up versus just like cutting mm -hmm. it. Yeah, those are pretty sharp. I need to, I seen one of them one time. I'd, I'd probably be interested in something like that because. You know, it's better than taking a razor blade and cutting a rubber yep. boot around a grommet and a firewall, you know, because it, mm -hmm. it don't always close back up versus where you poke that thing through and then it comes back down. Yeah. Those are pretty sharp. I haven't seen them before. Another oddball thing I got in the other day. Have you ever seen one of those? The Cummins oil filter cap on the back wall right there, that red cap. Oh, yeah, for the plug. Uh huh. To keep oil. We'll unscrew your filter off, and then yeah. the, way, the way they're in there on the, like the 6 7 Cummins and mm -hmm. the Dodges, the, you can put it on there and p pull it out with it, and then put it back down in there and screw it back on without making a mm -hmm. mess. I got one of them, but it's made by Motive X Tools. And uh, the reason why I bought that was for Joven Hamilton's truck, changing oil in it. Because, 
Man, that's such a mess with it's, them. You got the Cummins and it. Yep, and just mm -hmm. pours everywhere. I tell you what, those monster stools are sure enough comfortable. Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed having them in the shop. They, uh, and for the money, man, you can't mm -mm. you can't beat that. Mm -mm. It's a good deal on them. And those are the last of the stands. Two of those left. I tell you what, them gloves right there is pretty sharp. That digital. I like those. I just got them in. We ordered them at the fall show, and uh, I just got some of them in. Yeah, those are nice right there. Good grip, and got the impact backs on them. And mm -hmm. They're cool looking. Mm-hmm. I ain't never seen any like that before. You know, my son, he just graduated from the Air Force, and he's in a training now and he gets to come home on the 19th so we're looking forward to he has come home for christmas from the 19th oh, that'd be nice goes back on the second so be pretty cool seeing him he he's really grown up a lot the time he's been gone it's gonna be I'm sure pretty he has cool. some good stories for pretty cool having him home this year got some more of the good old trusty Brake calipers, presses. Yeah, them those are, are always worth handy. Weight and gold right there. Oh, show. Sure. Well, I had thought of something that I needed yesterday i needed to check with you about today and my brain has has left me on what it was and i don't remember to save my life i had a guy come on tuesday that a week or so ago bought the quarter bit driver mm -hmm. he said man he said i liked it when i bought it he said but i never would have thought it would have had the power it did he said, I had to be careful. He said, I started breaking bolts with it, little bolts with it. He said, you got to <laughs> be careful strong, with that thing. Man. I wouldn't have never thought that little Especially dude Especially be that compact, lightweight. Mm -hmm. The lightweight's what got me with it. He said, I love that thing. Oh, it was the uh, extension. You have those, don't you have a 3 8 extension that's got the, um, the handle on it? Like a screwdriver handle yes. made on it? Uh, 3 8 quarter. 3 8 Three eighths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see, a single or three pack or what? Well, I guess it depends on the. All right, back here. That's them. Yeah. I don't like that size right there. The nice thing is it's got the lock on it too. Mm -hmm. I can look that up for you to let you know how much it is. Yep, might be a good size right there. Have you ever noticed, seen a pop rivet gun like that with a swivel head on it? Not with a swivel head. That's pretty neat. I don't know if I can slide it out of here or not. Yeah, I can. Well, I'll be darn. Well, that would be good using them inside a trailer or somewhere where you can't. Because normally you're just 90 like that. Yeah, you can't get up in there in corners. But there's times stuff. that, you know, you need to go into something like mm -hmm. this and not need the big one. Yep. So it's. Have you seen the one that works like a bow? It looks like an accordion sort of that pulls out. Uh-uh. Yeah. And the, I hadn't seen <clears> that. They're pretty sharp. It's got a handle on them and you just... You pull it back like you shoot a bow and it pops the rivet in. Huh. You ain't got any of them open, do you? I don't, but what, you can open. I'll open one for you. 
this one's got the serrated edge on it. Are all of them serrated or? No. Let me, hang on a minute, let me find one that ain't, because I'd rather have the straight edge ones. That one's straight. Everybody that's bought these things say they're sharp as can be. Well, that's what you want, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> You don't ever get cut with a dull knife. It's always, I mean, a sharp knife. It's always the dull knife. <laughs> it's a wrench for the clip. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? That is pretty cool right there. A little bitty joker in it. Mm-hmm. It's like a screwdriver handle on it too. Feels pretty good in your hand. Hmm. You got one that's bigger too, don't you? I do. There's a larger size as well. Pretty sharp knives right there. This one isn't the clip, it made like the ranch, but that one's serrated though. It's got a good grip to it. Yeah, I like that grip on it. Feels good in your hand. Did I open that or you open that? I did. You better close it down. <laughs> <laughs> You got any of them that's uh, the solid blade? Should be some left up there. I don't know what all colors it might be, though. That's a green serrated. Red. I'm not a serrated blade person myself, I, either. I, I like them, but I don't like the fact that you can't sharpen them. That was supposed to be a orange, not serrated. I'm going to put that camera down where I can... The yellow lemon. I'm gonna have to get one of them. That'd be a pretty cool gift right there. Mm -hmm. I'll make my mind up and play with them just a little bit. Alright, guys, like always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes all down here. If you like the video, all you gotta do is take your finger and click that button right there. Y'all have a great one. We'll catch you next time. See ya.